Welcome back to our YouTube channel guys. It is again that time of the year where most of the students question is how do I go about scoring that perfect 170 on 170 in GRE Quad? And I'm pretty sure if you're looking at this video, you're targeting the same score as well. About 10 lakh GRE test takers around the globe and only 3% score a perfect 170 on 170 in GRE Quad. Is Quant really that difficult? Despite most of the chapters coming from your 10th, 11th high school mathematics, with the exception of trigonometry and calculus, what makes Quant so difficult? So we set out a mission to understand what makes these 170 scorers different from the 160, 150 and 140 ranges and here is what we found. The questions here in the GREH Learning Tracker platform can be divided into three important subsections, which is easy, medium, and difficult. The primary differences between these three types of questions is that in the first one, you would be required to say apply a formula or directly apply a concept. In the medium ones require you to be aware of the concept and then apply the formulas. The third one, might have an application of multiple concepts or require you to be smarter at time management techniques. Now when we cross-reference the students from different scoring categories to different types of questions, we found something very interesting. 150 to 158 scorers consume 56% more time than the 166 and 170 scorers Similarly, 159 to 165 scorers consume 37% more time than the 170 scorers. So if you compare a 140 scorer to a 170 scorer in different ranges, we can summarize the following. Time management is what differentiates a 170 scorers from others. So in this series of videos, we're gonna find out the most important time management techniques for various chapters in GRE Math. Stay tuned for more videos.